आज मैं आपको एक ऐसे कॉलेज के बारे में बताना चाहूंगा जो इंडिया का वन ऑफ दी टॉप इंस्टीट्यूट है लेकिन अगर आप उसका क्वेश्चन पेपर में कुछ भी सॉल्व नहीं भी करो तो आपको तीस नंबर मिलेंगे हाँ आपने सही सुना अगर आप सारे तीस के तीस क्वेश्चन छोड़ देते हो तो आपको तीस नंबर मिलेंगे दिस इज द टॉप कॉलेज इन विच यू हैव टू पे जीरो फीस एंड आपको फाइव टू एट पर मंथ की स्कॉलरशिप भी मिलती है जो प्लेसमेंट होता है वो इन कंपनीज लाइक गूगल मैकेजी गोल्डमैन सैक्स जेपी मॉर्गन ब्लैक रॉक इंफोसिस विप्रो टी रिलायंस ऐसी टॉप कंपनीज में होता है वॉट इज दिलिजिबिलिटी फॉर इट द एलिजिबिलिटी इज दैट यू शुड बी जस्ट ट्वेल्थ पास विथ मैथ एंड इंग्लिश कंपल्सरी इस इंस्टीट्यूट में नोबल प्राइज विनर्स लाइक मैडम क्यूरी नील्स बोर जैसे साइंटिस्ट आ चुके हैं यू कैन सी द हिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस इंस्टीट्यूट हियर बड़े बड़े साइंटिस्ट यहां विजिट कर चुके हैं इंडिया का पहला कंप्यूटर आया था नाउ यू मस्ट बी वंडरिंग की ये ऐसा कौन सा इंस्टीट्यूट है इंडिया में एंड अगर है तो आपको पता क्यों नहीं था अभी तक सो डोंट वरी अब पता चल गया हाई एवरी वन बाय दाई एम विवेक द्वेदी फ्रॉम नाइजर आई एम डूंग इंटीग्रेटेड मशीन के राइट नाउ इन फोर्थ ईयर एट नाइजर सो इस वीडियो को बनाने के लिए मैंने बहुत मेहनत की है तीन चार दिन से स्क्रिप्ट लिख रहा हूं एंड फाइनली आई एम एबल टू शूट इट नाउ सो प्लीज लाइक दिस वीडियो राइट नाउ एंड कमेंट अ हार्ट आई विल हार्ट यू बैक अगेन नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर ईच एंड एवरीथिंग यू नीड टू नो अबाउट आईएसआई यस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडियन स्टैटिस्टिकल इंस्टीट्यूट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू इन थ्री पार्ट्स फर्स्ट इज द प्लेसमेंट द सेकंड इज एग्जाम पैटर्न एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया कट ऑफ मार्क्स एंड एवरीथिंग रिलेटेड टू एग्जाम एंड थर्ड पार्ट इज how you can prepare for it now let's come to the placement so first of all the two types of placement that is industry related placements and phd related so in phd if you want to do your phd after your masters from isi so which colleges generally people go to they go to cmi university of michigan university of illinois iit bombay tifr mumbai university of pennsylvania and so many these great institutions like john hopkins can you imagine these colleges so this is where you know phd placements actually occur and now let's come to the industry placements so from the previous year data as you can see most of the jobs have been in banking and finance about 42% this is the data of 2019 to 2020 batch and it services 17% and other services you can see here now the median package as you can see here from mstat degree of isi kolkata has been 22 lakh and generally the salary goes between 20 lakhs to 30 lakhs per annum okay now you can see uh, you know various internships and various other degrees are also given now let me tell you the companies who recruit these people so companies like goldman sachs jp morgan black rock dr reddy google tcs samsung reliance bank of america american express amazon adani mastercard PayPal these companies are the recruiters from these colleges so can you imagine that these company recruiting you these are the dream companies of any person in the world not just in india so this is about the placement now there are various other degrees also offered at these colleges isi you know there is isi kolkata then in bangalore then giridih there are various a lot of locations in india throughout india they have been expanding and a lot of degrees are now offered you know masters in statistics and maths and similarly you know various other a lot of things cryptology and you know uh, cyber security and all those things so a lot of things are there in this video i am mostly focusing on bachelor of stats you know bachelor of statistics b stats and bachelor of mathematics b maths now b stats is offered at isi kolkata and b maths is offered at isi bangalore now let me first talk about the eligibility for both b stat and m stat the eligibility is nothing else but just class 12th pass out with maths and english subjects compulsory no percentage criteria is mentioned just class 12th pass out with maths and english compulsory now let's come to the seats so how many seats are there so as you can see here that for b stat at isi kolkata the total seats are 63 for both b stat and m stat general category 23 obc ncl 17 sc 9 st 5 ews 6 and general pwd 3 now you see a symbol here ews plus plus right so that basically shows that if the seats remain vacant okay if there is no person from ews category then these seats will remain vacant and will not be filled now there is a very special note for all of you i want to tell you who should actually give this exam so first of all if you are really a maths lover if you are really passionate about maths and you want to do research and you want to pursue maths a lot in your career then you should go for this exam and you know pursue isi cmi are the dream destination for any of the mathematicians and second if you are you are preparing for exams like nest you know iit or j advanced then you know this is the ultimate level exam for you to prepare for mathematics like these are olympiad levels question coming to you okay so if you are really rigorously preparing for exam like isi then your maths for as advanced and nest and kvpy or iit exam will be too easy for you 
if you are preparing at the level of ISI entrance exam. So with that, let's proceed to the exam pattern. So exam is actually offline. The timing is 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. and then 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. There are two papers on the same day. First paper is called UGA. It is paper one. There will be single correct option questions. It is like an MCQ with zero negative marking. You know one thing very exciting about it, as I said, if you don't attempt the question, you will get one mark. Now, total there are 30 questions in this paper and each question has four marks. That means 30 into 4, 120 total marks for paper one. As I told you, if don't attempt any question, if you just leave 30 out of 30 questions, you will get 30 marks. Now, obviously there are some eligibility criteria, you know, cut off marks that you need to get in paper one in order to proceed. Okay, so with that given, the second paper is UGB, which happens from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Now, the paper 2 is subjective paper and it is at the Olympiad level. Okay, just like you have the questions in International Mathematical Olympiads, those kinds of questions are asked here. And there is stepwise marking as well. Total, you have 8 questions with 10 marks each. So, total, you have 80 marks here. Now, in this subjective question, this is actually the most important part, which gets to, you know, decide your selection. Because nowhere else generally subjective questions are asked, like J Advanced, NEST, IAT. Subjective questions are no more asked there. So this is very important. They check, you know, how you approach the question, how you solve the questions. A lot of people now just skip the, you know, various steps. And because we are all trained now for J Advanced, you know, just to pick the option, just to eliminate the options and somehow get the answer. But here you need to actually understand the concept, do the question stepwise and stepwise mark are given also. Now let's come to the cutoff marks and merit list preparation. So first of all, the total marks is like this. Paper 1, 30 questions into 4 marks, which is 120 marks, plus 8 questions into 10 marks, which is 80 marks. So 120 plus 80 marks is 200 marks. And then there is interview round, which is round 2. So for B stat ISI Kolkata, the interview marks is 20 marks. And for B math ISI Bangalore, the interview marks is 60. So for ISI Kolkata, your total marks is 220. For ISI Bangalore, total marks is 260. Now, I want to tell you a very important thing that, you know, there are two papers, paper one MCQ and paper two subjective. Now, to check your subjective paper, first they will see the cutoff marks in paper one. So if your cutoff marks is not clear for paper one, they will not even see your subjective paper. Now, what is that cutoff marks for general category? Generally, the cutoff marks is 50 to 55. For OBC, it is 45 to 50. And for STSC and PWD category, generally it is 40 to 45 marks. This is approximate. It changes every year. Okay. Now, provided you have cleared this cutoff marks of paper one, now they will correct your subjective paper. And as I said, they will also give you step marking and all. Now, how is the merit list prepared? Merit list is prepared by overall cutoff marks of paper one and paper two. So first, they will see that have you cleared the cutoff marks of paper one, which is generally around 70 to 75 marks for general category, you know, uh, which you need to solve about 15 questions out of 30 questions about 15 questions out of 30 questions. Can you imagine that? And then for paper two, the cutoff marks is generally about 30 to 40 marks, which means three to four questions out of 10 questions. Now, provided that you have cleared the cutoff marks of paper one and paper two, you will be called for interview along with the students of INMO, International Mathematical Olympiad students, awardee students. So two kind of people are called for the interview from the ISI entrance exam and from the INMO, International Mathematical Olympiad awardee students. Now they will take the interview, which is also very important part. But as I said, interview marks for ISI Kolkata B stat is 20 marks. For B math ISI Bangalore, it is 60 marks. Now, what do they do in the interview? So first of all, they will ask you your favorite topic in mathematics. Okay. And then actually it is not always about, you know, are you answering the question, you know, 100% correctly. What they actually look for is your conceptual clarity. Do you really understand the concept? Are you able to simplify the question? So there will be a jury. Okay, there will be a lot of mathematicians, you know, uh, great people sitting in front of you taking the uh, interview and they will be very friendly to you. They will uh, simply ask a uh, your favorite topic. And when you give your favorite topic, make sure that you really understand that topic. And when they ask questions, they will check how are you able to simplify the topic and how good are you coming to the solution? What is the process? you're using and scientific approach you're using, how logical you are to come to the solution. Even if you're not able to give the right solution or right answer, all they look for is process approach and how you think to solve a question. Now, other important dates keep on As you can see here, the exam form will start from 10th of the March. Application will start and it will end on 5th of the April. The admit card will be issued on 26th of the April and the ISI admission test is on 14th of the May 2023. Now let's come to the most important part, which is how will you prepare for it? So first of all, to prepare for this kind of exam, you need preparation at the level of Olympiad. Okay, International Mathematical Olympiad. You are going to compete with those students because those students are also called for the interview, right? Now, uh, you need that level of preparation. Second thing, that J Advanced NEST IAT preparation is not enough. 
it is not enough honestly and frankly it is not enough at all in fact if you prepare at this level your iit nest and j advanced mathematics will seem much easier for you now if you want to prepare for this who are the right people to guide you so obviously they are the people who have already qualified this exam who are already right now at isi or cmi hamare course ke jo mentors hain as you can see here somya das gupta he is already a student at cmi he has already cracked isi and cmi both of them then aditya roop laha he is a student at isi he has already qualified all india rank 12 in nest examination and cbs air 20 Archishman Mukherjee he is a student at ISI and he has already qualified INMO 2019 and 2020 then Adarsh V he got all India rank 1 in ISR aptitude test 2021 he is a KVPY SX scholar with AIR 730 then comes Ripunjay Duvedi he is a student at CMI he also qualified nest examination as well as ISR aptitude test so this is the caliber of people in my team and now we are finally launching ISI and CMI crash course for all of you what will be the features of this crash course we have already divided this crash course in eight phases so the syllabus plan goes like this for each phase there will be part test so that you know each of your topic becomes really strong so after each phase phase 1 to 8 there will be eight mock test okay for you know that particular chapter now from phase 1 to phase 6 there will be part test for each phase and in phase 7 there will be four full syllabus mock test with isi pattern then there will be phase test 8 in which there will be four full syllabus mock test with cmi pattern okay cmi Chem chennai mathematical institute exam pattern both are very similar isi cmi cmi are like twins okay you can just uh, think like that then we will give you eight previous year papers with detailed solutions of isi and cmi in actual exam timing and pattern now most importantly this will be you know corrected just like you give your actual isi and cmi exam so that your actual exam seems like you are giving a mock test now not just that all of your subjective questions also a lot of times many people just you know will give you mcq questions of isi and cmi but the most important part is subjective questions so we will even give you the subjective questions we will give you detailed solutions of those questions and we will correct your copies okay this team will correct your copies and tell you where are the mistakes you are making we will have interaction sessions and live doubt clearing session on every saturday and sunday now this is more than enough for you in these last two months needed for you to qualify isi and cmi exam so this crash course we have done so much hard work so like this video right now and this entire crash course is what is the price can you imagine not even 2000 till 7th of march you can register for this course in just 1500 rupees 1499 rupees after 7th of march we will make it 2000 rupees so make sure that you register for our crash course of cmi and isi entrance exam with just 1500 fees before 7th of march after that it will be 2000 rupees so i hope this video was really useful to all of you if you have any kind of questions what will you do first you can message me personally you can talk to me personally on my app siesta you can simply download the app using the link given in description it is called siesta s c i a s t r a from play store you can message me i reply to each and every person who messages me there second you can write in the comments below if you have any kind of doubts and ultimately i have covered everything you need in this video so you don't need anything outside this that's it i hope this video is useful please like this video take care bye bye